This design thinking course will help you develop your ability to creatively solve problems. It's the second part of a two-part course and it explores the second half of the design thinking process. We'll be looking at ideation and prototyping in this one. If you're joining from part one, welcome. If you're new, hello, I'm Bex. I'm the director of a social good design consultancy called Reply. You can do this part without doing part one, but I would recommend that you go back and do it. That one was about understanding our problem space and the people within it. One of the key components of design thinking is being human centric, meaning you really do have to know your audience. And another key mindset is that we have to be willing to challenge our own thinking and maybe reframe our problem. So with that in mind, I would really recommend giving the other half a go. Another tenant of this process is that we continuously learn by doing and iterate on our work. The main way that we do this is by creating prototypes and using them to test our ideas. That's why design thinking methods can particularly help when you have a complex or fairly novel problem. In this course, we'll explore how to have an idea, how to choose the most suitable idea, and then how to create something quickly that you can test with your audience. If you have a pro project that you'd like to take through this process as we go through the course, wonderful. If not, I'd recommend that you come up with a hypothetical idea so you can have a go at some of the processes.